The Anatomy of Student Engagement Teachers know that students learn best when they are engaged, but it is an elusive concept, difficult to measure, and easily confused with students attending to their work as required. The biggest problem with student learning is not the content, it's that the students are bored with how it's taught. What is engagement? How can we tell if our students are engaged? Can we decisively plan a lesson that will engage them? How can I coach other teachers and explain to them how they can improve their engagement factor? Through the use of real classrooms, you will see examples of engaging lessons. You will hear expert observational analysis pinpointing precisely what made them work at high levels of engagement for the students. Did you watch the students as they solved that problem? Did you watch their faces? Did you see some of this? Did you see them looking? Did you see them turning to one another? Did you see them? That's engagement. These kids are totally wrapped up in solving that text structure game. Yes, I think it met all three points of engagement. I think you probably saw it too. They were thinking and problem solving. Those little brains were really going. You will learn the criteria for engagement, the role of the teacher, how to facilitate true discussion, and much more. After watching this program, you will have confidence in designing activities and lessons that will get students really thinking and problem solving. Become more aware of the hooks that will interest students. Make your lessons truly relevant. All right, so talk to me about what you guys are doing. Okay. So we've been working on what is the difference between the Earth and the Moon, and what, specifically like with structures. You know, there's a lack of oxygen, there's a lack of atmosphere to protect us from the meteors that are coming in. Uh, you have to talk about the lack of, of full gravity, because the Moon only has one-sixth the gravity that Earth does. So knowing all of those differences, how would you then build a 3D structure okay, on the Moon? the solar panels? So Josue, where are those solar panels going? We're going to probably use a straw, cut uh -huh. it, and like support it up. Okay, so tell me, I love it. So tell me why you're putting it at an angle. Because so the sun can like actually hit it directly. Right, so when we were talking about the seasons and why the earth has seasons, the summer is hotter because the earth's what? Tilt. tilt. Because of the tilt. So you want to get that. My heat. biggest soapbox, as you would say, is that students need so that to stop being, said, being required to just memorize, memorize facts. Yeah. Now we need to get kids to think. We need to get them to problem solve. We need to build that creativity back in school that had been taken The key away. is getting students' brains cognitively active getting them to interact with the material. We all love to see our kiddos light up with new understanding. We will share some tried and true strategies for getting kids' cognitive wheels spinning and take a look at how to find the evidence of engagement. The results of all this engagement is both higher levels of learning and more fun for our students.